Welcome my fellow citizens. So I was enjoying my hornet and I noticed one thing. I could easily lost my weapons. And one of you guys commented that the weapons now have HP. So while I was playing with my hornet, sometimes my hornet will just without any problems be destroyed. So I was wondering why is my hornet being so easily destroyed? And I think, well, maybe the components have also HP. So I went to the Urkel, I take a look there, and what I found is this. So not only that every weapon has its HP, for example, Dominance 3 has 1550 HP, Attrition 1024, Deadbolt only 550. Also every component on your ship. Depending on which shields you have, you may have stronger or more powerful. So not only that the shield is important, but also HP of the shield. So for example, I have FR66 and now it is component is 1054. But here we have all stop, which is also military, but C grade component and it has only 396. So here it's easy, just go for the military component. Same thing with the cooler, just pick the one who has the most power and who has the most HP. So I pick up my glacier, which I already had before. Spectre, which is a quantum drive. Now this is why my ship was destroyed almost always. I had this one, VK00. It's a military A component, very speedy. It wants to eat a little bit more fuel, but look at the HP, 324. I was getting killed almost all the time because of this one component. So I switched to this Spectre Stealth A. And look at this now. I have 1054 HP. The other very good component which you can take is this one. Atlas Civilian A. Very fast but also good HP. Which is crazy. Why would the civilian component have more than two times double HP than a military component? Why does not the CIG tell us this? We have added the HP for the components. Or at least show us in the game. If you are buying, for example, VK00, give us these stats. Why do I have to go to DPS calculator, to Urkel, to find out why is my ship getting destroyed anyways and thank god we have an oracle so if you can support this web page because it's amazing and it help us a lot so now we are going to jump in the game and as i promised we are going to do all ballistic loadout and this all ballistic loadout is with look at this scatter guns and deadbolt fours i would also use here scatter guns but then i will lose a lot of dps so yeah Using a deadbolt just adds a little bit more power to ship. Let's have fun.
All right, my fellow citizens, for today's last targets, we are going to use all deadbolts. This is the most powerful setup for Anvil F8, F7A and it is real, real nice. The only downside of this build is the problem with the guns. They have very low HP and if they are hit fast, they will stop shooting. But hopefully this will not happen today. Let's go and destroy some ships. From now on, I will mute my mic and just let's enjoy the fight.
So that was it my fellow citizens, the entire VHRT mission with three fleets completely obliterated with our deadbolts and the ship is not squishy as it was before. As you can see I have taken a lot of damage, you can take a look at this, but I'm still alive. Before I would explode in a matter of seconds. So yeah, if you haven't known this, go check your components and make sure that they have enough HP to go through the fight. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe, like and share with your friends. And until next video, have fun out there citizens. <laughs>